family and welcome back to another clip of the walking dead. Um, and to get the dead and stuff too. Um Episode 2 is called, uh, Episode 2 is called, A Starved for the Heaven. Three months later. Damn, what'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a graft. Uh, well, that's another meal lost. Uh, I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. You shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be free by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. The regret is hardly a real one, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. He was driving me nuts. I think he started to lose it. He's not the only one. Why don't you cut him some slack? Yeah. You're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we had left. You're fast, Lily. He's the one handling the rest. On this hand, I have to ask him. He's just worried about his kid getting it out. And I'm worried about the pulling time, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and me fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor room. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a family to look out. And they're safest in a big group. 
Good name is only gonna get them all killed. Can't blame him, you know. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? We'll see who guys deal anyway. Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's an old ass. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's own muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Yeah. <laughs> Flat. Sound pretty walker. You put it to that work. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on.
The Walking Dead. Episode 2. I forgot the title right. Stop for help. There we go.
que sí, creo que yo quiero. Actually, why don't you keep my share today? I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me and not Curly, but I owe you a lot more than half a day's rations. Hey, if that boy doesn't want his food, hand it this way. It doesn't work like that. I'll decide who gets the food. Well, decide smart. You don't really want to piss me off, do you? Hmm, do I? Yeah, dude. I don't really like him. He's, he's a douchebag. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, but I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with that for a while? Okay. A duck. You're pretty brave. You look pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom from Vixen. How are you doing? How are you doing, Doug? I'm okay. Man, I'm tired of color. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? No. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Cat? Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm so hungry. You still have that wolf toggy? That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, huh? You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. How are you, How doing, you doing, son? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? It's looking it doesn't bad. Doesn't look good, Carpenter. It doesn't look good. Oh, okay. I'm so hungry. I hope I get to eat soon. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Want something to eat? Here, Ben. Have 
after what you've been through, seems like you could use a pick-me-up. Seriously? I know food's scarce. This is really... I really appreciate it, man. I need to keep my strength up, too. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kitty. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Let's see um, how Ben do. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaiser will do her best. I promise. Can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How do you hold up? Uh, well, I, um, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. You'll be You'll prepared, be prepared next, time. next time. Next time? Yeah. I mean, you could, like, um, before walking to the blooming trap, you could, I don't know, walk in this trap there or something? So, who, who are you? So who are you, people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Catch you later, Doc. Bye, Lee. Words getting out that you want to leave the motorway. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. But Coast does sound like a smart idea. Coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know there is. I'm taking my family. I have no food left. Oh, yeah. I see how it is, Lee. Talk to you later, okay? Let's talk about you and Ken. We should talk about you and Ken. What about us? The argument. Getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. We should think about leaving. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now, keep an eye out. Fine. You'll be okay over here? Uh-huh, I'll be okay. Okay, uh, so you have... 
Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weed card in me. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I've got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. That he wants to ditch the new Nobody people. thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right! There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Sorry, it's not too Sorry, Larry, but it's nothing left. Don't piss up a flagpole, Lee. Lily and Kenny need to get You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. we got to start acting like it. Stop all that. We'd be fine without you. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Give it to you. Oh. Here, Mark, this is how. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, man. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh. And that's what you think this is? Is that what you told me? That's not what I mean. That's not what I meant. No? Then what did you mean? All right, let's take a step back. Maybe you two should keep your distance. Fine with me. Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... What's this problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen deaths, but that doesn't make it any easier. That's man blood. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not a problem anymore. What about the other kid? Watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We all know all infected. Everyone? I, I guess so. I don't know. I, all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. 
When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in the gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills, a lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and gone. Yeah, it works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this thing come from? Watch where you're from. Who are those people? I don't know. Are, are those the people that are the people you? that really went to camp? I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just get them tangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough! Oh, shit! Okay, okay. No drought. Are you armed? Oh, are. Yeah. For protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. Y'all be willing to lower your guns. We, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what do y'all think? Okay, we go to a deep. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. See how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this is. Anyway, guys, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.